Today Legends, we're coaching a couple of diamonds in ranked because they feel like they're missing out on some crucial skills when it comes to Apex Legends. But we're basically looking um, to up our game when it comes to rank like taking fights and like winning winning fights mainly. So to get things started, we're gonna be loading into the firing range with them and taking a close look at how they take their one-on-ones. This way, we're gonna be able to quickly break down each individual's mistakes when it comes to taking their fights. Because in Apex, you can have the best guns, best attachments, best position, best legends, best everything. But if you can't take a proper fight, you're gonna be getting knocked the moment that bullets start flying. The main thing that I'm noticing with you is you tend to kind of stand in the open as opposed to peeking the open and since this is a rank session we'll be spending a majority of the session in actual matches where we'll be guiding the match and helping them understand how to approach fights how to rotate for the most optimal situations you want to be on the outside if at all possible so away from the fighting because that's going to draw attention and how to hold zones to make sure that we're not getting thirded and instead we're thirding others now, if you've ever wanted to get better at Apex Legends, you can do so by booking a coaching session with me today, just like these guys did right here. I coach thousands of players every single year from casual players all the way up to professional players. If you want to check it out, you can do so by clicking the link in the description down below or heading on over to my website, thedistrict.pro. We have different coaching options for every single type of budget, so make sure you check it out. Now let's go hop into the range and check out these diamonds in a 1v1 situation. Someone had Prowler, right? Like yeah. Prowler. Okay, you got Prowler or three. Awesome. So we'll do you first. Let's start off with that. Um, these first few rounds, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to be kind of like limit testing you to some degree. So I'm going to be pushing up. I'm going to be pushing back. I'm going to be hiding from you. I'm just trying to see how you play. The main thing that I'm noticing with you is you tend to kind of stand in the open as opposed to peeking the open. So what I kind of mean by this is a lot of the time you're kind of like waiting for that thing to happen, whether you're waiting for me to peek, whether you're waiting to see me, whether, you know, I just peeked you and you're waiting for me to repeat, like whatever it might be, you're always waiting. Mm -hmm. What we want to be doing is we want to always be kind of looking for things by flicking in and out of cover. And the way that you can kind of think about this physically is your left thumbstick should be able to do one quick flick to the left, you're in the open, one quick flick to the right, you're back in cover. But we want to start transitioning into we're moving as we're doing damage. So for instance, if I kind of just toggle the friendly fire on here, as I'm hitting shots, that is my cue to push up. Mm. I'm not, in, as opposed to what you're doing, which is moving up later. We're moving after. So we want to, as soon as we see those numbers, okay, I know this individual is going to start looking away. That is a cue for me to start moving forward because that, that dangerous open area is now going to be safe. If you do damage and I come in, you should be pushing up right now. So now give me a push. If I don't back off, I'm locked into this fight and you're going to kill me. What, this is kind of what you do. You stay in a close range of your enemy. They make one mm -hmm. singular push and you're locked into that fight and you're dead. So oh, if right, a, right, right. So if we're in a close range fight that like this, sense. as soon as I take damage, I'm not coming in to get healthy. I'm coming in to back off. And now when that person makes that one push, I have a chance to catch them. If they keep pushing, I have to back off again. And now again, we're, oh, with, we're yeah. within two ranges of pushes as opposed to just one. So this is nice. how we're gonna keep ourselves alive in a situation that we should be losing. That's really good advice. So with that being said, let's rotate. Let's get Tunderson in here. I think Ryan's accuracy is better than mine too, but uh, I was just and, saying, I'm, I'm not, tonight's not the night, but I, I'm gonna watch the videos too and just try to work on that uh, accuracy. Yeah, sure man. You kind of notice, right, how Tunderson's playing with lots of space between us. He's not closing that gap at all. So it's become just a pure situation of you can only shoot me when I show you me, right? But as soon as I start getting right. close to you, well, now it's going to be a matter of I'm going to force that damage if you actually get put in by swinging. Okay. 
So we need to start making sure that as we're fighting here and you're dealing damage, that's making me disengage and you're closing that gap on me. Nice. So your door right now is to be engaged. He's shooting. You hear me? You know where I'm playing. We're swinging a little far out. I don't want you to push me. I'm going to back off. Back away from you. I'm watching to see where you're going to come. From. You look away and I move up. In these fights here, you're hitting me and I'm leaving. But when I'm hitting you, you're staying. So you keep yourself in that situation where you will continuously take damage. I remove myself from that situation so that I can stop taking damage. And if that person wants to aggress on me, I'm able to catch them and kind of like put a halt to that. Just because your movement's insane, dude. <laughs> so I just need you, right? If you hear my sound, I need you to be in a safe spot and then peeking from that spot. I see you keep stepping out all the way yeah. to the open here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Good shots, I'm gonna back off. Another really simple one too that I noticed with both of you guys is when you guys make swings, you swing and you stay swung, right? So I always say whether it, like it's in my coaching sessions or my streams or my TikToks, I'm like swing or get swung. That is 100% the case here. You always want to be pushing. You don't want to be getting pushed. And if you are getting pushed, you're backing off, resetting so that you can get back to being the pusher. But what you guys do here is you swing and then you fight until someone dies. The issue with this is you have an advantage for sure when you do the action, but you only have an advantage for the very beginning of that action, right? Like if I'm right here, how like you don't know if I'm going to swing out and shoot you. You don't know if I'm going to swing out this direction and shoot you. You don't know if I'm going to wall jump and now I'm in your face. Like you just don't know what's going to happen, right? Until it does. Right. So what mm -hmm. we want to do is we want to remember that it's the beginning of those actions that give us the advantage. So the more beginnings you can create, the more advantages you can create. So as I'm fighting you, I might start a fight, back off, right? So that's cover, right? Even though I'm underneath you, I'm in cover right now. Swing, make another play, back into cover, right? And now I might be pushing back up, making another play, back into cover making another play back into cover so we want to be swinging dip back swing dip back swing dip back just like if we're poking right i'm going to make sure that i'm poking coming in poking coming in poking coming in right every time i come in i keep up my health every time i peek you have to react to the peak i'm shooting first Okay, let's go hop into the lobby. Now that you and these diamonds know how to properly take a 1v1, a great way to actually practice this and overall see the mistakes that you're making and see if you're improving is by using today's sponsor, Outplayed. Outplayed is a completely free program for PC users that automatically captures kills, deaths, knocks, wins, revives, or whatever you want to set it to so that you can go back and rewatch it and even edit and upload those clips from the platform to YouTube or social media. I myself and a lot of my students students actually personally use Outplayed every single week when we do our gameplay review classes, or as it's called on my website, VOD review classes. We use it to clip good moments that we won and we thought, hmm, how did we win this? And we also use it to clip bad moments where we wondered, how did I not win this? In an effort to figure out and watch back how a fight actually played out and how we could have taken it better. So if you're actually trying to get better, give Outplayed a try for free with the link in the description to see how exactly you're playing Apex Legends. Remember, right? Our goal in all of our fights is to be engaged with people and our engagement yep. disengages players. So if you can't constantly be disengaging people or have information to disengage people, it's going to be really hard to close those gaps. It's going to be really hard to get people off of you. Hang up uh, up top here. Let's hang up up top. Never mind. If you if we can start swinging back over here, this is like a weird drop actually. I'm gonna just tether yeah, over here. Squad right here. Yeah, if you guys can just start making the swing out here. We got two right. teams here. I thought they're it was underneath. just one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so because out. they're underneath, make sure that you're coming right now while they're not looking, yeah. as opposed to waiting until they start looking at you. Yeah, I'm over here. Oh, back building, back door. Yeah. 
Let's see if he can side blow us. Still looking for a lap. Yeah, Tundersid, dude, no. you gotta you gotta get I, over here. Remember, we first thing I said was we need to get to the outside of this fight. We need to back out of here, and you just kept getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Okay, there's no pressure on us. Let's make sure that we're get, we're putting some pressure on them right now. I'm gonna drop a heavy mag. All right, Wait. scan so we know what we're looking at. Uh, heavy or uh, lighted? I got a knock. Call out how long for a scan. 10 seconds. Got some good damage here. I'm backing off. I'm covering. Nice. Here, we're getting thirded. Quick loot. Standing. We're not quick loot. We're not staying. They may now, though. They may now, yeah. So let's get back up. Right, so Tundrason, I don't know if you're able to see that right there, right? But you notice how there was a conduit on the roof. Right? I shot, I backed off, and then I pushed up. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's kind of what we're looking for when we're fighting, is we're, we're making a play to kind of look at that person, taking a step back, swinging back up. They're swinging up on your building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pathfinder, pass on me. Pass on me. No shot. Uh, pass, oh, one time. Pass, cleaned us. So you guys backed off? Awesome. You need to make sure that you're aggressively looking for them to be pushing up. Otherwise, they're going to close that gap. Then again, right? It's them being right on you. That's what's like the most dangerous part of the fight. All right. Back up a little bit here. Get myself to a safe spot. Looking to see if a team's walking up. I'm being engaged. Yeah, they're coming up. They're coming up. From where? Uh, from where you just were. On this group. Piss on two. I pissed on two. Commit here. We're getting damage in here. Nice. Okay, this team might want to be swinging up. Okay, they are. Let's make sure that we're backing off then, okay? Come to the trident. Team here, team here. Back up. With me. A little reset here. Let's see if we can swing right here. No shot. Med kidding? No shot. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. <laughs> this is your crap. Dude. Oh, How much health man. does he have? He died. Oh, he died. Oh, he died. <sighs> Let's start working our way over here. Because we do need to move. The longer we wait to move, the worse it gets for us. We need to move, though. So let's make sure that we're looking here. Rezzing. Conduit's pissed on. Let's make sure that we're putting some pressure in this bitch. Okay, quick armor swap. Ooh. Moving up a schmidge. There's one right here. There's one right here on your right. Most knocked one right here. I'm gonna go in for the kill here. Got one knocked. Now I'm playing slow, so I don't need to aim. Their whole team's right here. They're both on here. Big damage being put in. Let's make sure that we're keeping that pressure if we can. They have a lifeline. My arc will lifeline do something right there. Inside. I gotta pop that. Moving up on lifeline. Yeah. Lifeline's down. Clinging. Back. Uh, offense down. Yeah. Nice. Good stuff. He's dead. Just trying to get these habits down. It's not going to happen like right away, obviously. 100%. It's exactly. It's all about developing that habit. Right? And the hardest part here is you need to think about what you're trying to create a habit of. So, uh, med kit right here. A lot of people do. You would not believe the amount of people who I coach who've been playing since day one at their higher level than me. Some people have more kills than me, dude, right? And they are a hundred times worse than me. And the reason why is because they play, but they don't think about what they're doing while they're playing. So if you're trying to develop that skill of, I want to jiggle in and out, keep my health up, you need to be thinking about that while you're playing until it just becomes second nature. Battery right here. 
I'm trying to see who's two people just dropped out. Yeah, all, all in the one blood's one, blood's one. Nice. Okay, Six. let's see if we can let's see if we can put some pressure right here, okay? Nice. His buddy braceleted back. One HP, nice. Got him, got him. Keep that pressure up, right? You're looking to be pushing. You're looking to be putting his, in damage. He looks like his teammate bailed. Yeah, his teammate braceleted all the way back here. So let's get these thirsts. Get the, uh, the little loot off of these people. They're looting, standing still. Tons got two breaks here. Hey, last one. He just jumped up right here. Nice. Now we might get thirded ourselves. So let's take a quick loot, quick listen. Quick loot, quick listen. Come to me. From the safety, we want to look. We need to push them back right here. We need to push them back. Move up while they're not looking. Keep the pressure, keep the pressure. All good. Ooh. All good. That's a close one. So taking that really seriously, like, it's almost assuming, because we were, we were shooting, we're going to get pushed. We've got to be, like, out of that, out of that position early. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it comes down to... If you think about what you already have, if you already got it, you don't really need to be looting, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, me right there, I knew I had a purple sight. My R3 was stacked. I had an alternator disrupt rounds. I'm on purple shield. I got tons of bats, tons of ammo, tons of shields. I got everything. I personally didn't need to loot. I got caught up in it because it's just, you know, dopamine. Ooh, what are they gonna have? Another pro tip here just for dropping. If you have somewhere that you want to go, go there. Don't wait to see what people are going to do because you waiting, someone's going to drop first and now you're going to not be able to get there first. That's here, 19, 20 seconds ago. Yeah, they're right in front of us, right here on ping. White's on yeah, one. Good shot in the back here. All right, so now we know that we're between two. This is when we back off. So dip back, you're not fighting anymore. Very good, I just pissed on the guy shooting at you. Now we're pinched between two teams. Come to me right now, come to me right now. Come to my portal if you can. Roger. You need to keep backing off if you can here. Oh. Right. Remember, you guys need to be focused on recovering, resetting, and creating space. You guys are like shooting when you don't need to shoot that team super far away. You guys were not healing as soon as you, you can. You need to just focus on, okay, get to a safe spot, start getting healthy. And now that I'm healthy, now I can do what I need to do. So they are fighting here. I want you guys to be comfortable with just taking these fights. Realistically, Probably. we shouldn't take this. But we're going to make you guys do this anyways. Knock one. Tight to the nice. cover. Tight to the cover here. People want to be stepping out into the open. Okay, I got two knocked. I'm popping a bat. We want to be on the outside, if at all possible. So away from the fighting, because that's going to draw attention. He probably won't even see us, like, running up to him. There he is. One HP on him. Over here. Stay, keep your health up. Yeah. Other guys right here. Yeah, they're right there on the bridge coming up. Hit some of that bloodhound. Keep your health up. Keep your health up. Take yourself out of the open. Fuck, yeah, I thought they're all trying to cover. This guy right there. Up the bank one. Keep your health up. Kill two. Push this guy. Push this guy. Together. Yeah, 
Ooh. All good. You're not playing your cover. You're just literally standing right there in the open. That's why you're getting shot and stuff. My only option is to like play right here and try to hold these two guys. In one shot. Oh my god. If I hit that, I would have been such a huge clutch. Ah. Leave if you can. Leave if you can. I don't even know. Yeah. Uh, uh, in, in regards to kind of like those things that you want to practice, what I really want you guys to do, don't just play pubs and don't just play ranked because you can only get in so many reps when you do those game modes. Play control and TDM. Control is best um, because people play in areas, which is what you're going to be experiencing you fight players in BR. People are going to be playing areas, buildings, rooms, whatever. And then I want you guys to have two different ways that you play control. Number one is going to be aggressing, where you are going to be actively working together to take over B site, right? You guys are going to be talking, hey, we have players over here. How can we make them disengage so that we can push up, right? Keeping your health up is going to be super important for this. So practicing your jiggle peeking and actively reminding each other, hey, jiggle peek, play tight to our cover, right? Push up off of our damage, all that good stuff. The second way I want you guys to fight is taking their spawn. So the way that control works is players can't take, players can't spawn on B, even if they have it, if their spawn doesn't belong to them, if, they're, if their home base doesn't belong to them. So now that you guys are working together on taking their base, you're going to have people coming to you as opposed to you're going to them. Now you're gonna to have to be very aggressive in defending yourself, right? So when you're when you're fighting for the middle, you're gonna be pushing up a lot more. When you're fighting for their spot, you're gonna be getting pushed, which is gonna force you. I'm gonna make you guys think here. If you're getting pushed, what do you need to do? Um, Retreat back to the yeah, cover. Make them move through space and yep. go back to uh, like reset. Exactly, right? We're pulling back, we're, we're dragging them into the open we're getting those free shots exactly so that's how you guys are going to really practice those two like those two just play styles the aggressiveness and the defensiveness all right and then once once gun run comes around like just quit because that, that game mode is completely useless <laughs> for practicing to be honest 